Okay. Then scroll this bar, bottom bar, to the far end. Can you see this? Can you see this? Are you guys seeing fees one one one? Okay. Can you do it the same for facilities and lecturer quality? Do the same thing for like facilities and lecturer quality. Okay. Facilities one one one. How many facilities you got? Five, right? So divide by five, not divide by three. Okay. And same goes to lecturer quality one one one. Okay. How you check whether yours is correctly typed or not? Look at your fees compared to my fees. Is it same or not? 3.67 for the third one 3.67 for the third one Okay, you compare fee with fee 2.33 2.33, same So your computation is correct 3.67 3.6 Your computation is correct So same goes to the another two Facilities, you check with facilities See whether your computation is correct or not You get the correct computations Okay Anyone still yet to finish it? Can you raise your hand? We, we give you some time to finish. Okay, so after you compute your mean, you got a mean for B, you got a mean for C, and mean for D. Now, we are trying to do a regression analysis. And what you should do is click on Analyze, go to Regressions, go to Linear. Can you see this? Everyone here? Linear? Click on it. Can you tell me what you put under dependent? Who say fee? Who say lecturer's quality? Who say recommendations? Recommendation is depend on your weight. Am I correct? Recommendation is depend on what? All that three factors, right? So recommendations is dependent. Can you click on recommendations E and click this arrow to bring it in? Okay. Can you click on this fee? Computed fee, the fees that you compute, the mean, fee one one one, okay, your fee one one one, with your facilities one one one. Click control, then you can select more, and click lecturer quality one one one, okay. Click all these three, and click this arrow here, okay. So your fee one 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 is here, your facilities one 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 is here, your lecturer quality one 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 is here. These are all independent variable that affect your recommendations to your friend. So what you should do now, you don't have to set any options here. Just leave it as a default setting. Just click OK. Can you see you get the same thing as mine? Regression analysis. You are keying in three variables. Lecturer quality, facilities and fee. Then from your output, this is your output. Analysis output. Can you see model summary? Okay, cool. Can you see ANOVA? Okay. Can you see coefficient? I want you to look at coefficient. Let me explain to you what does it mean. Okay, the first thing you have to look at is the coefficient table. Okay. And you run a regression analysis. Regression means you find the relationship. What affect your recommendation the most? Okay, uh, so which one of them affect your recommendations to your friends the most? So, how do you study on this table? The first thing is look at the significant value. Significant value lower than 0 0.05, you accept the variable. Significant value lower than 0. 0, 0.5 you accept the variable okay can you tell me what is this value 0. 0.000 right is it smaller than 0. 0.05 so accept or reject accept can you tell me for this facilities what is the value here 364 right so it's 34. Point Sorry, 36.4%. So it's above 5% already. So reject. Okay, reject this construct. What is this? 
lecturer quality what is the significant value 0.948 right it means 94.8 percent so it's above five percent ready so reject it okay okay let me explain huh? let me explain what is significant significant means the reliability of the questions that people take okay range five percent different then you accept range more than five percent different you reject it means that some people simply take for you i take all one you take all five you take all three so the significant value becomes so big okay if our significant value if if our answer i take all three you take all four so our significant value is so small you get what i'm trying to say the significant value means that the reliability of the answer so according to parlan the reliability trustworthy above five percent reject so this one reject this one reject so we left only one construct what is the construct that we left can you name it loudly what is it fees right only fees affect your recommendations from this analysis okay from this analysis only fee affect your recommendations which is valid this two not valid because exceed five percent really not trustworthy anymore okay okay so first step done you identify which variables fees next after you identify look at b value okay look at b value for fees only because these two already rejected so don't bother that too understand these two already rejected close these two don't bother already okay look at b how to read this value okay 0 0.984 means 98.4 percent can i write down in your notes 984 means 98 4 percent okay why do i need to use regressions good question because from this analysis if i take one run with one that call correlations right have you read the book that i gave you survival manual if you take one run with one it means correlations if i take all these three run with what that call regressions why i need to run this regression test reason is i can identify which one affect your recommendations this is your dv this is your iv okay regressions is to find relationship between variables so let's go back to b value where we stop 98.4 all right can you tell me what does 98.4 means 98.4 means fee is affecting your recommendations to your friend by 98.4 percent nearly 100 percent really. agree so this answer concluded that if the fee is cheap okay your chances to tell your friend to study here is 98.4 percent if the fee is expensive the chances here for you to tell your friend not to study here is 98.4%. This is how we understand the reading of this statistic. Okay, so 98.4% of chances whether you want to recommend your friend or not is because of only fee. These two are rejected, not trustworthy. Okay, so this is how you read this. Look at the significant value first, then look at the b value that's all okay so how you write your chapter 4 data analysis is you write fee. you write fee is affecting your decisions in recommending your friend to study here by 98.4 percent facilities is not significant at all so we reject facilities and lecturer quality okay clear so when you write your analysis you must write in a writing form right not put in value right so how you write you write fee is significantly affect our decisions to recommend to our friend by 98.4 percent full stop okay so this is regressions okay 
how to increase the chances to get more significant value to reduce this value to to five percent right get more respondent i only got 51 respondent that's why this is so high okay that's why this is so high so what you should do you got more respondent your significant value will go very very low okay am i answering your question okay any other question please ask before we go to another analysis yes yes ask it has can you can use correlations i will show correlation later okay why i do this because if you compute all three together the strength is more valid like what i told you just now if i only show fee effect one not valid the validity of the study is not strong enough i must include all other variables okay example huh? example what effect weight gain then you only say one food consumption of food is it valid only one effect weight gain if i compute five food hormone okay sleep late no exercise so so many variables affect weight gain that kind of study more valid that's why i compute all together and run towards them i don't do one by one am i answering your question okay but if your variables only got two okay only got two one here one here you don't use regression you use correlations okay any other questions We proceed with the second analysis. Okay. So can you write down in your notes? Look at the coefficients table of the regression test. Of a regression test, look at the coefficient table and look at the significant value first. Reject the significance which is above 0.5. Take the significant which is lower than 0.5 then read the p-value okay so after you done all this you notice that oh my god my analysis only got one that is significant then how after you analyzed all this you found that you only got fees which is significant all other rejected then how are you guys clear this already clear Okay, if you only found one construct which is significant, all other construct reject, then you got nothing to write in your analysis, right? So how are you going to do if you got nothing to write? Or even worse, all rejected. Then how? Okay, what you should do now, next, you don't compute them. You do one by one. Okay, let's do one by one. If you want to save this data, you just click this save. Then they will save the data sheet for re regressions. So later you can copy this, paste in your words to to write your thesis. Okay, you can copy. Right click, copy, then paste in your Microsoft Word and you can discuss. Okay? So if you don't want, you cancel and you cancel. Okay. So now I do by item. I don't do by construct. So what you're going to do, same things, click on analysis, regressions, linear regressions. You will go back to the previous setting. It will save it for you. It will go back to the previous setting. So it's a good thing you can remember what you did just now. Can you click on the independent variables, all of them? Control, then click all of them. Are you guys there? Send them back. Send them back.
Dan Have you sent your variable back here? Here become empty Okay So what do you do next? Click on B1 Click on Shift Click until D5 Okay, click on B1, click on Shift and click until D5. You select all. Send them into independent variables. Okay, so by item now. Okay, press OK. So these are all the items that you included. You can count on it How many of them? Okay Look at the coefficients Can you tell me which one Okay, before, before I ask, can you tell me, do you get the same value with mine? Same? Can you check? Anyone different? No. Okay, from here, can you tell me which item, now we do by item, can you tell me which item is significant? Lecture in technical module Okay So This is significant This is significant All other item reject Okay All other uh, Other item reject So from here You will notice that All because of fee Fee affecting your Recommendation by 88% This is how you analyze it And Lecturer quality This one Affecting your recommendation by 27% only Okay So these are the two items that Affect your recommendations Okay So my recommendation is do the compute one Then do the breakout one Okay The item one So you will see two different Because this is a little bit more messy But you can see by item That one is more trustworthy you can see which construct is more strong Okay, and look at both Then analyze both My recommendation is put both Okay, run this first If very messy Then run that one The construct one Run by item first Next, run by construct Okay, so regression done Any question? Please ask before we go to the next one. We got three of. Are you ready to go to? Okay, cool. So if you want to save it, save it because you need it to copy and paste in your writing. You just copy and paste, then you got the table already. You doesn't need to create a new table for your writing. Okay, so if you don't want, you just click no, and the data sheet will gone. The output will gone. 